synaptic receptors for the neurotransmitter, for the deficient neurotransmitter. So first thing to look for, Doc, what neurotransmitter are they referring to? And then where would his receptors be found? Hmm. 80 year old man, unsteady gait, he can't smile, tremor in the right hand while he rests. His disorder is characterized by markedly decreased availability of a specific neurotransmitter. What's your diagnosis? Parkinson. Parkinson's, what is he missing? Dopamine. Nice. So he has decreased dopamine. Mm -hmm. So the postsynaptic receptors are found where? Postsynaptic receptors are found. Mm -hmm. mm, I think, is it the, the, well, within the basal ganglia, it's the, mm -hmm. I think the substantia nigra. Okay. Because he's I'm, suffering from, go ahead, I'm listening. Well, actually, I don't know if I'm confusing substantia nigra with subline with nucleus. It's the first one. I, I mean, I can see the picture in first aid. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm between, I'm between those two. Something with an S. I'm not sure which one. Mm. Well, you said substantia nigra or subthalamic nucleus. Now, Doc, what's your gut telling you? You said Parkinson's, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So bottom answer, D. Okay, cool, let's try that. Incorrect. Uh, so my Not God. that one. C. Well, here's the thing, Doc. If you had a gut feeling, then shame on you for going against your gut feeling. Don't you ever do that. If you have a gut feeling, you go for your gut feeling. Now, most people also uh. know what substantia nigra. It is not substantia nigra because that's not the question. The question was, where are the postsynaptic receptors found? Now, if I had asked, where does dopamine come from? That would be the substantia nigra. Mm -hmm. But the substantia nigra, or the dopamine, eventually makes it to the striatum. So I'm going to draw something else, y'all. Here we go. Let me just stop sharing here. I got to share my white screen. Here we go. Uh, the whiteboard. OK, check this out, homie. So we're gonna we're talking about the basal ganglia now. This is very important. This is all basal ganglia. We just kind of put it up here, BG, all right? Basal ganglia. And I want you to start here. We're gonna start over here with the thalamus. We're gonna it's actually. Yeah, we're gonna we're talking about the basal ganglia, and we're gonna start off with the thalamus. I want you to write down movement. We're gonna put down movement like this. Then just behind it, you'll put the thalamus. I want you to remember that the, the thalamus, he stimulates movement. He wants things, he helps with the stimulation of movement in regards to basal ganglia, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we have this guy called the globus pallidus. He's a hater. He does not want movement. So he inhibits the thalamus. See that? Yes. All right. Now every hater has a friend. Every hater has a friend. And globus pallidus, no different. This guy's called the subthalamic nucleus. And the subthalamic nucleus will stimulate, let's keep him blue. He stimulates the globus pallidus. He's like, yeah, man, you go ahead and you tell that thalamus to stop. I don't want no movement. Here's the thing, though. For every pro, I'm sorry, for every con, we have a pro, right? For every yin, we got to have a yang. So here we have our caudate and our putamen, also known as your striatum. And these two, they actually want movement. So they're going to inhibit the globus pallidus. Let's make it red here. They inhibit the globus pallidus because they want movement. And then here we have our substantia nigra. And the substantia nigra stimulates the cauda and the putamen. Substantia nigra releases dopamine, and the receptors for dopamine are found on the caudate and the putamen. Mm. See that? Yes. All right. 
I've seen this question before, and uh, maybe it was an NBA mirror or, or, or a U roll. But the neurons are located at the caudate and the tamen. The, the, the receptors are found. Yeah, the receptors. So dopamine is released from the substantia nigra. The substantia nigra is lesioned or is damaged or is abnormal in Parkinson's. But the question was, where are the receptors for the dopamine? And they are in the striatum or the caudate and the putamen. So with that being said, if I were to have a lesion of the substantia nigra, we already said it, we have Parkinson's. So here's one disease right here. Let's just make it blue. Here you can have one disease, Parkinson's. What about if I have a lesion of the caudate? Ever heard of that disease? Huntington's. Huntington's. Huntington. Are they moving around a lot? Do they have movement disorders? Yeah, of course. What about a lesion of the subthalamic nucleus? Ever heard of that before? Amebolismus? Amebolismus, which is also movement disorders. You see? What if, uh, oh, what if this area were to be filled with bilirubin? What is that called? Oh, carnicterous. Carnicterous. And, and, and what if it was filled with uh, copper? Wilson. Wilson. Oh, you guys, you see? You guys are about that life. I love it. Okay, very good. So that was the basal ganglia. That was my concept for that.